The prophet Manton is going to speak a word of blessing of uh, Faith TV. Please, Manton, welcome. Speak a word of blessing of uh, the Faith TV. lift our hands to Jesus, the King of glory, the great I am. Can we give God a praise right now? Come on, you could do better than that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Kenya shall be saved. <laughs> I said, Kenya shall be saved. Amos 3, 7 says, first, the Lord God does nothing unless he first reveal his secret to his servant, the prophet. And 1 Peter, 2 Peter 1, 21 said, Prophecy came not from man, but by holy men that spoke by the Holy Ghost. Can we lift our hands? Oh God, your anointing is here. I saw a vision last night and uh, early this morning. And another one, a second one while I was sitting over here. Lift your hands. The presence of the Lord is falling. <sighs> Easy on the music, bro. A little bit down, lower. Shakara Shayatai. Oh, yes. Korandela Shala, he salanea no laza, get it, get it. Mambro Shakalaya. I saw a vision late in the night or early in the morning. I saw, Archbishop, I saw battalions of angels being released upon the nation and upon East Africa. And the Lord said, I'm going to begin to drive the devils and the networks of evil powers out from the country. And I'm going to begin to move across this land. And you're going to begin to see things happen that you've never even imagined. The Lord says five, the number of grace, the, the five years was a preparation. It was all good as we heard the testimonies. But the Lord said it was setting a stage for what's about to now come because the Lord says, I'm going to begin to release millions of people from captivity and bondage, multiply millions of people. The Lord says, I don't want any small networks where you just have a few followers online or whatever. God says, I want to, I want to torch the, the atmosphere with my fire and I want millions of people to become saved and healed and delivered and become my disciples it's going to happen in this day and hour you watch how quickly I will accelerate it says the Lord <laughs> Woo, Jesus and I saw while I was sitting here I had an open vision I'm amazed, Lord, at your anointing. I'm amazed. Can we lift our hands? It's just amazing the privilege we have that the Holy Spirit is with us and upon us and moving through us. I saw, I, I saw, I saw to towers and I saw fire coming out from them and I saw them all over the country. I saw them all over Africa. I saw them all over East Africa symbolic of fire coming out and touching people through the airwaves and the lord says my son my servant i'm gonna have you have branches in all these places the days of pastors and bishops and other teachers and church leaders all over the land everywhere the signal's going i'm gonna have branches raised up the Lord says you're going to see the acceleration process move now for new branches. And everywhere you go, I'll set a church there. And you've been doing that. But the Lord says it's increasing now. And we're going to begin to see the wave of fire. <laughs> Listen here. Listen to God's servant. Listen to God's servant. Ezra 6.14 said they built and prospered by the prophesying of the prophet. Hosea 12, 13 says, by a prophet they were let out. We need the prophetic voice. 
Lift your hands. Receive the touch right now. Many of you are going to be activated also in this movement to go into ministry, to go into business, to go into building great things. My God, the presence of the Lord is here. The Lord says Kenya has been tagged as a Christian nation because of the foundations and so many churches in operation here. Yes, we acknowledge that. But God says many are not living the Christian life. If someone were to say 70% of the nation maybe is Christian, I, I, we'd have to say how many are living as disciples. The percentage would be way lower. Maybe 10%. Maybe 20% at most. Who knows? God says, I'm going to save people from their sin. I'm going to deliver people from all kinds of things they're doing out there. Many have not even regarded the church. Many in society are lost. Millions of people. Lift your hands. We're praying for them. Multitudes in the valley of decision. Waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. Multitudes waiting for the power of excellence and power and fire and fury and glory from heaven to come through vessels upon the earth. And we're going to begin to see now, says the Lord. Uh, you're going to begin to see it. Fire coming through and people delivered, saved, healed by the mass multitudes. Uh, the Lord says the viewership of the networks will go up. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I saw towers. I saw towers. I don't know what it means. I saw towers. Towers, like big tall towers of signals. And I saw fire coming out in the spirit. And God says you're going to touch people watching everywhere. And the Lord says the increase, <laughs> the increase of the, of the viewership and the, and the participation and the connection is literally going to go into the millions of people now. <sighs> Nothing small anymore. Nothing beginning anymore. You're a mature child. You're a mature, I mean, a mature son now. It's time to move. Um, it's time to move and take the masses of people. Hundreds of millions of people are going to be touched by fire across the African continent. But let's stay right here in East Africa for now. Let's stay in Kenya for a minute. But I see it branching out even to the East African community, the EAC. Many people, many people, many multitudes of people. God says this apostolic fire is going to touch multitudes. And we're going to, be, we're going to begin to see it. We're going to begin to see it. We're going to begin to see it. The Lord spoke to me something yesterday so powerful. But I'll share that in another session. But the Lord is doing something right now. Can we lift our hands? I feel like there's a, a, a hovering glory on this right now. Right now. I don't want to go into too many things. I want to stay right here. Right on this focused topic of expansion the lord says expansion expansion i stand in the gap with my holy bible praise the lord i stand in the gap with the flag of the nation and we're gonna see can you save the lord says i'm driving out devils i'm driving out witchcraft many that don't want to repent will die Many that don't want to give their lives over, they want to stay evil, will be crushed to nothing. Because God is not going to allow people and evil men and women stand in the way of his fire touching the multitudes. Uh, there was a message you delivered, Archbishop, about people stuck because of all kinds of bewitchments of people. But the Lord says he wants to set you back to the original plan. I declare that right now in Jesus' name. The vision that God gives... Uh, must be accomplished in and through your life. Lift your hands. Deliverance fire is moving right now. Economically, God's going to begin to raise up people. You're going to be blessed because of your faithfulness to Jehovah. God's going to drop millions and even billions into the hands of many because they're, 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 they're selected to produce and advance the kingdom. And God says, this is the day and the hour of expansion. Mega churches, mega buildings. The Lord says, the Lord says, my servant, I'm going to cause 
people to know the new property, the new land. I don't know anything about it. I'm prophesying here. I don't know anything about the network. I don't know anything about anything. Let me just say that officially. I'm speaking by the Holy Ghost. But the Lord says the place will be so grand, so excellent, so beautiful. People will come from around the world to behold the move of God. And the multitudes of people, the problem will be the sizes of the crowds. The problem you'll have in the future days will be where to put all the people. You see the problems already here in this house. The place is filled. There's not a seat empty in this, in this place here right now. The Lord says that'll be the problem to solve. And God says, I'm going to give you the wisdom. I'm going to give you the favor. Oh God, I saw like free-to-air television. I saw online and I saw free-to-air television. I'm, I keep seeing the towers that beam out the signal. And the Lord says, everybody in the nation will be able to watch the Faith TV. Everybody, everybody, everybody. Rich or poor, in between, up and down, down and out, up and out. And God says, I'm going to restore back to the church dignity and excellence and fame and respect that's been so lost because of the sins of men and the sins of some that even call themselves ministers the lord says i'm cleaning up my house i'm producing an order of holiness i'm going to have people that won't lie cheat and steal they'll walk in integrity the lord says get ready now for the movement lift your hands right now let's say this together lord i repent I say, I, we all say it. Let's say it. Come on. If you can't say that, you, what are you going to do? What are you going to do next? Lord, I repent of everything wrong in my life. Anything I did that wasn't right. Anything that I was supposed to do that I didn't do yet. Help me, Holy Spirit. Forgive me of all sin. And cleanse me from all unrighteousness. In Jesus' name. That is the scripture according to 1 John 1 and 9. You need to memorize that and work with that every day to keep yourself, keep yourself pure before the Lord. Nothing in the closet, nothing hidden, nothing messy in your life. Everything is open. Everything is beautiful. The transparent glory can come through you and shine the colors and the light of his beauty and his excellence because you're holy, walking person. You're walking holy living for him filled with his power filled with his presence oh my god the job of the holy spirit is to convict people of sin not just people in the world but people in the church let the lord cleanse you right now there's a move i see the angels going through there's people being healed even there's, a, there's fire being released let the lord touch you today you watching at home, watching wherever you are, on your laptop, your computer, your phone, or wherever you might find yourself, or you see a re-air re, re of this, or see it later, let the fire that's here touch you right now in Jesus' name. And the Lord is going to begin to do wonders in and through you. Where you've been stuck, you're going to not be stuck anymore. Where you've been stagnant and held back, you're not going to be stagnant or held back anymore. The Lord's going to promote you and advance you. Are you ready for it? Lift your hands. Your glory, Father. Your glory is what we need. Father, baptize everyone in fire here. Baptize everyone in your fire. Holy Spirit, that's listening right now, wherever they are. Touch them with fire right now, all across the nation, all across the land. Raise up the new leaders, the new disciples, the new pre, the new brand, the new people, the new leaders, the new people that are going to work for you, Lord. Fill them with your power. Fill them with your fire. Fill them with your glory. Fill them with your knowledge. Fill them with your wisdom. Fill them with your understanding. And Father, we thank you for the underpinnings of the network. It can never be shaken by anybody. Let me prophesy, no government, nobody in government can ever touch this. If they put their hand to this, they could fall dead. Let them try. The Lord says, this is my house. I said, this is my house. I said, this is my house. This is my work. This is my era. This is my movement. And it's going to sweep the land and touch millions of people. Are you ready to see it? 
From today, I prophesy. I don't know how or what day, but the Lord says the numbers in the, in the online viewing and, and the viewing and whatever, it's just going to go spinning up, spinning up, spinning up, spinning up. People are just going to begin to tune in from everywhere. They're going to get touched and delivered. The testimonies you heard were just a couple, but God says there'll be hundreds and even thousands of testimonies coming. You'll have a department to take the testimony. And testimonies of people say, how can, we, how can we release all of these? There's so many coming. The movement is here. The movement has been built. The movement that, you know, five, I saw the stage, the platform has been built. Everything is in place. Lord says, now the day of expansion is here. And I'm breathing a wind of fire upon technical people, people that will help. Even across the government arenas, even across the people in government, I'm going to begin to, I'm going to, begin to touch so many of them. I prophesy, I pro yes, Lord, I prophesy that people in the government will be saved and filled with the Holy Ghost. Government people, lift your hands, government people, people in the government, they're going to get visited like Paul, like Saul of Tarsus. They're going to get touched. And Jesus will stand before them and say, hey, I want you. And they'll say, yes. It's a time of a surrender to God. Lift your hands and say, I surrender everything to you. Everything. And Father, for the multitudes of people that are in the balance that have not been uh, touched yet, we pray for them that the connection will be made. It's happening. It's happening. I don't know what this is for, but I like it. Faith TV. Everybody stretch your hands out this way. I don't even know what's in here. I'm just holding it as a point of contact. Father, we pray over this great network that it will shine your gospel fire and power to the ends of the nation and even beyond. North, south, east, and west. Millions of people, millions of people touched by the power of the Holy Ghost. So much more I want to say, but I, I, I'm restricted. I can't do it. I can't do it now, but I want to get, I'll just leave this there. Can you say amen? Let's give Archbishop a hand. I'll see you in the next round. Do you love me? Do you love God? Will somebody wave? Give God a wave. Let him touch you and have his perfect plan in your life. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen, amen. amen man of God. God bless you. Prophet Manton, God bless you. <sighs> that is the word for Faith TV. And uh, what the prophet is speaking, he is saying he, has, he doesn't know anything. But we have new rod here and we are building a tw twin tower uh, building. And he saw it. It will come to pass. We have already drawn it on a paper, but I never told him. And he has described it. God is taking us far. And he has said something that is very good. That when God is taking this ministry far, each and every one of you will move together to that far. God will bless you. God will bless you. God will bless you. God will bless you. Thank you very much.